I've been in rhythm since February, so about is it six or seven months, I think. Kick-ass uh, Java. I definitely say about API design. Um, and if I had to say anything, it would be testing. I'm actually really good at testing. Something that you know most people wouldn't brag about, but I think I'm pretty good at testing. <laughs> She's two, and she has the temper of a lion, so I'm going to say no right now. Maybe if she tapers off, definitely no. I think it's one of the few professions where an imagination can turn into reality, and it's not like highly involved with other people, because I think a large part of the time people have these great ideas, but they're like, oh, so many moving parts, whereas in programming, that idea can become to fruition with a few nights of, you know, coding and, and yeah. So that that's my favorite part. So I mean, great, it does produce god complexes, but but the other great part about it, it makes you it makes you inherently creative. So the first one would be you're never too good at coding to test. I think those things are uh, they, they should be such an inherent thing that you can make a mistake. Um, two, uh, two would be your computer science fundamentals get more important as you go up. Like a lot of people, you know, they get a framework or they get like a language that just does things for them that they really forget that baseline computer science knowledge or what, what, what is a hash map and you know, how things work internally and how different languages do things internally. That's also important. <laughs> I personally feel that when it comes to programming, it's almost as if, do you get a joy out of solving problems? Because a lot of people don't. Like a lot of people think they get a joy about solving problems, but they, at the end of the day, they, they just, they prefer someone to do it for them. So um, if you get a joy out of solving problems, if you, you, you really enjoy that self-fulfilling work if you're all if you're very uh, autodidactic where you just teach yourself stuff all the time I would encourage you definitely to get into programming well and in rhythm I, I started off just as a like a senior engineer and then I moved up to a lead and also gained the ability for coaching and the one thing that I learned at in rhythm that they focus on is vision so I've never, so, you know, Gunjin, our CEO, he'll ask you, what do you want to do? <laughs> and it's like an honest question, like, what do you want to do? So in, in turn, I've always asked that to people that I've interacted with, like, uh, like junior developers. And one said, hey, I want to be a project manager, which is very rare among any developer. But he learned how important project management was and said, from a developer side, maybe I can make a difference. So I think at in rhythm, I've learned the importance of vision and the importance of helping people fulfill that vision. Love it. Thank you. Awesome. All right, good.